In music, all of the intervals in a key are perfectly symmetrical. This symmetry is geometric, and once you can see it, it's easy to understand how all of the notes relate to each other. To show you what I mean, let's start with the chromatic scale wrapped into a loop like this, where the pattern repeats in a circle. C, D flat, D, E flat, etc. To label the intervals, we use numbers, and when we align the number one with C, for example, we get the key of C, where C is one, D flat is flat two, D is two, etc. We could rotate the numbers to highlight any other key as well, like G, or D, or A, etc., since these intervals apply in the same way to all keys, but for now we'll focus on the key of C. Now, at first glance, the symmetry that I'm talking about isn't obvious, but it is just sitting there, staring us in the face. So to help it come into focus, let's give each note its own color by first rotating the chromatic scale into the circle of fifths, applying the color wheel which follows the very same pattern, then rotating it back into the chromatic scale pattern. So that now each note is distinguished by its own color, and we can just pay attention to the intervals, the relationships, between the notes. And the alternating shapes also help to show these patterns. For example, you can see that the entire chromatic scale is made of two sets of whole step intervals. All of the evenly spaced squares are primary and secondary colors, and all of the circles are tertiary colors. And together, these two sets of whole step intervals interlock to form the chromatic scale. With the C note, the red square labeled 1, this shows how intervals 2, 3, flat 5, flat 6, and flat 7 form a hexagon, while intervals flat 2, flat 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 form another hexagon. Without the colors and shapes, the same geometry exists between the scale degrees, but the connection between the number symbols is not intuitive. It's just a bunch of weird symbols. So now you see it, now you don't. Anyway, moving on to all of the intervals spaced at two whole steps from each other, these form perfect triangles like this, where the colors and shapes likewise correlate with the scale degrees. And then intervals at three whole steps form these geometric patterns, which in music we call tritones, and in color they're called complementary colors, but it's the same relationships. And then these increments of half-step intervals radiate symmetrically from interval one as well. Again, all of this geometric symmetry is masked by the number symbols alone, but these patterns are right there informing how all of the notes relate to each other. And what's really cool is that this very same symmetry is consistent across all keys. So once you see these relationships in one key, they're immediately visible in all 12. So in the key of G, for example, the same intervals persist, although the scale degree numbers are in new positions. And the same is true for all of the other keys too, where the colors and shapes are consistent, guiding your eyes and your mind to make sense of all of the intervals, revealing the perfect geometric symmetry that exists throughout. In each key, the scale degrees shift, but the underlying intervals remain the same, so the same patterns are always present, resulting in an intertwined super pattern of sound that's buzzing with relationships.